Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, it's good to see all of you. Um, my name is Jonathan Eldridge. Uh, I am a resident. I have the right zip code. My daughter goes to Valcido, uh, where she's a, a kindergartner. Um, we've lived in the district for a while now, and I work in Marin County, um, also in education. Uh, so, and as an administrator, I appreciate the difficult task that boards and, and administrators have. Um, I'm also here on behalf of my wife, who is at home with our daughter this evening. Um, she actually has a PhD in sociology and teaches uh, at a college. Um, and a lot of what she teaches is about symbolic racism, which is also not coincidentally known as symbolic violence. And for those of us with privilege, that probably seems a little over the top. But that's because we have privilege. As uh, I would also like to say, I have a degree in history, and so I appreciate the history lesson we just received because I also learned about uh, Dixie and uh, Whistling Dixie being the anthem for the Confederacy and the heart of Dixie actually referring to the Confederate States. Um, and whether or not Dixie School District is named for that really isn't the point. Uh, the point is that that is what it is commonly associated as. There's a reason that parents don't name their kids Adolf. There's a reason that the restaurant that some of us, I'm sure, as kids went to, Sambo's, doesn't exist anymore. It's because it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate because it's hurtful uh, and because I think we finally learned that. I also want to say for a moment that slavery uh, was not only about owning people as property and committing atrocities on them. It was also about the intentional decision to keep those people uneducated. And if that doesn't speak to the importance of this issue in this school district, then I don't know what does. That should not be lost on any of us and it should make this decision a morally obvious one. But what about tradition? What about it's been this way? What about we've lived with this for years? That's not really what it means to us. Well, I don't think any of us want to go back to any of the traditions we knew in education. And I, I think I'm probably of roughly the same age of a lot of people in the room. And when I was growing up, we didn't know the term homophobia. We just perpetuated it on every kid who, who didn't, uh, who didn't uh, act the way we thought they, they should. Um, racist names, uh, formal and informal segregation. So I'll close with this. To those of us with privilege, and I certainly, most certainly, I'm one of those people, we need to check that and understand the insidious nature of the tradition. And tradition is also code in many places for white supremacy. And it shouldn't be here. We should be better and care more about our neighbors and children than to make privileged excuses and fail to act. Because after all, as we all know, in education, where our kids are watching, Inaction is powerful action and makes clear our values.